This is a video inventory of Flat 1 10 Spencer Street for the next academic year students 2024 to 2025. I can confirm that all legalities to do with the property are in place, cleans have attended and done a full clean throughout. I'm going to start off by just quickly showing you some damage to the bottom of the door there. Now as we go in you will see that the camera will naturally pick up any marks to the floors. Now this is bedroom number four that we're going to go into first. So let's take a look. It all seems to be pretty good as I said the camera will pick up any marks. The windows are operational as can be seen. You have blinds to the windows here. Now looking at the mattress you can see the mattress is clean there to the underneath. I'm just going to turn this mattress over. And you see that the mattress is also clean uh, to the top. Uh, wooden unit here, um, lampshade, it looks like there's a spare one there too. Uh, all the drawers are empty. Uh, study chair is in good condition. Let's just make sure that's not hiding anything. And as you can see, the desk there is in good condition too. Pin board and the walls have had uh, a coat of paint and are in good uh, condition. No items except the coat hangers here. And it's all nice and clean. A bookshelf uh, to the wall and also uh, a freestanding mirror. I'm just going to switch that one. There we go. Just showing you that the light bulb is working. So we're going to uh, go through and we're going to uh, quickly point this out. This is the fire extinguisher and it must be kept in place at all times and that is for your safety. Uh, entry phone system and also a storage unit. So we're going into bedroom number three. So as we go in, just checking on the carpet again. Actually, let's do the wardrobe first. You can see that there are no items. Uh, some damage just here. Uh, got the coat uh, hangers. And the floor, let's have a quick look. I'm unsure whether this is a shadow, so I'm going to stand this side. And I would say that that's uh, a mark. Now, there is a mark to the underneath of the mattress here. I'm just going to turn that over very carefully. And you'll see that the mattress there is clean to the top. The desk is in uh, good order. Drawers free from any dust or items. And then we have the study chair, which is in a good condition. Now the wardrobe, you can see, I'm presuming this is where the chair has been hit uh, against the wardrobe. But just behind the door, uh, we've got a small unit and a bookshelf. Walls are in good condition and you have a blind to the window. Just checking the light. And the light is working. Into bedroom number two. Again, let's focus on the carpet as we go in. Seems to be uh, pretty good. Stand this way. Uh, no items in the wardrobe. You can see the window is operational. Uh, mattress is a uh, clean to the underneath. Just going to turn this mattress over. And the mattress.
buttress there is a clean to the top. The desk is in good condition. Again, no items in the drawers. Study chair is good. And again, you've got the blinds to the windows. Mirror to the wall. And let's just check this light. All working, good. Before we go into room number one, we'll quickly look at the a bathroom, the floor's good. Uh, the toilet's nice and clean. The sink and the taps there are clean. Cabinet to the uh, wall and the shower screen is nice and clean. are clean as well. So bedroom number one. Looking at the carpet. Uh, seems okay. Nothing obvious. Uh, here we have the a key in the lock. I have tested the door and it's operational. You can see that there's uh, some scratching to the uh, wardrobe. And no items are left inside. Uh, study chair is uh, good. Drawers are empty and clean. And then we have uh, a small uh, cabinet there. Looking at the mattress, the mattress is uh, clean uh, to the underneath there. Let's turn this mattress over. And the mattress is uh, clean to the top. Evidence of some repair work, uh, but the walls have had uh, a coat of paint. So you've got the mirror to the wall there and a bookshelf. Let's just quickly uh, try the light and it's all operational, which is good. Okay, and then we go into um, a quick look into the a kitchen and social area. Uh, let's look at the sofa first it's a two-seater a brown leather sofa seems to be in a good condition but then we have a large a three-seater and again um, that's in good condition too the coffee table lots of wear and tear to it i'm just pointing out here that there's no rubbish on the balcony The key is in the lock, which is there, all locked up. Curtains to the doors, got the dust marks to the uh, lining. Now the dining uh, table, lots of wear and tear, uh, and to the seats as well. Again, another key in the uh, lock there. Let's just stand back. And the walls are in uh, good condition. Uh, you've got the carbon monoxide alarm in place. Uh, fridge, freezer. Uh, all looks uh, clean. There is some damage here and also here. I'm going to leave that open because we don't want it shutting for when you arrive because it 
will uh, get mouldy with the heat if it's not turned on. So there we go. Uh, no items in the dishwasher. It's all nice and clean. And there we have no items in there, like that. Now lots of wear and tear actually to the cupboards. Um, they are empty, which is good. Let's just close that. Close that. Again, like the wear and tear. Oops, let's shut that properly. That microwave is good and clean. And the taps are clean. And the sink is clean too. There is some uh, instruction manuals there. Looking at the work surface, a bit of wear and tear there. Uh, no chips uh, or burns, uh, except for the right hand side. Now I think that's where someone has put a hot pan. So just be careful of that. Uh, the hob, gas hob is nice and clean. And you will see that the bars are absolutely spotless there and the glass is clean too. Let's have a quick look in here. This is where your uh, water meter is, just here. And you can see wear and tear to the bottom there as well. Again, fire extinguisher and fire blanket must be kept in place and that is for your uh, safety. Nothing in the bin. So this concludes the video inventory of flat 110 Spencer Street. It just leaves us to say we hope that uh, your studies go really well for you. Just making sure that they're empty. And that your stay here is a comfortable one. And it just leaves us to say, uh, from us at Beauvoir, we wish you all the best. Take care.